so loud. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So, Falco Ridley, Chris, you are probably the most connoisseur of this matchup from back in the day. Um. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's also this person that's playing it right now, but and then the other person is also playing it, but they can't really compensate right now. So I mean, they could. They would be impressive. So Ridley has some really fantastic disjointed options. They have these, these huge tail buttons uh, that can really keep a, a slow, kind of stubby character like Falco at bay super efficiently, but they are so huge. Yes, Falco they are. has such an easy time with all of their hit confirms, all of their kill confirms. They really can eat them alive, especially for a character who likes it in the air as much as Ridley. Yeah. They have amazing aerials. They have the Nair, they have the Fair, they have the Bear. We don't talk about Bear. Um, but Falco, up till, is just going to eat those alive so efficiently, yes. so often. It really forces both players to play a little bit strangely. Falco has to play a lot more passively than you usually want to until you get the hit, and then you can just go at a point. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, it's, it's always the it's always the unfortunate when you play a big body against uh, a Falco is you basically kind of have to assume that for a large part of the, a game you're going to be combo fodder, but on the off but then sort of on the other side of that is the thing about being a big body is you live forever. Ridley does not live forever. This unfortunately, man is like a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, Ridley is a big body with no weight to him, yes. even though he is. A, Look know. at this spindly little bust. <laughs> Oh, but he's oh, he gets the read. Let's go. Yeah, that is one thing. If this character gets a read, they have so much kill potential between their upbe and their smash attacks. They can actually just roast and toast you so early. Yeah, we can't. It's one thing uh, uh, Bandanti is going to have to be aware of is that upbe on the ledge. Yeah. Because we all know that it's a great spike kill, and if you get that, if you get it the right read on it, you are just dead. There's no recovering from it. And even beyond just that, Ridley has so many ways to interrupt a spacey recovery. Yes. They, they have multiple jumps. They have these huge buttons in the air. They have a down angle F tilt. Down down angle F tilt is probably one of my favorite That's ones for to sure, see. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, might be one of my favorite moves um, in the game. Because it, it's such a great ledge option. Good side B there for I, Alpha. I love also the early release on the Space Pirate Rush because the percent difference. Uh, oh, it really yes, has the higher, higher percent. It's very easy to mash out. So we saw an early release from Alpha. Get the most out of it. Um, Alpha is sitting on a very, very unhealthy 159%. But uh, Bandanti not finding the kill uh, right now. That wing blitz does so much to mitigate so many recoveries. All the landing hitbox of the forward air, but not quite going to kill now. Oh my no, god, falls out of it. Falco's so good. <laughs> Space Pirate Rush on the ledge when you have all that much rage. Yeah. That's going to be Unfortunately, hard in this game, multi-hits do not work. And Bandanti is suffering that fate, but does get the back air. Good pressure on shield from him. Not, not end the world, but we could. That's a double jump off. Be careful. Oh, okay. Missy of their own. Let's go. Yeah, unfortunately, Alpha not being able to get the edge guard there. But Nanti does hit him with the uh, the Falcon fire. <laughs> <laughs> Stop this right now. <laughs> the jab on the ledge. A lot of control here. If, if they can make the most out of it and not get Space Pirate rushed again, the percent difference is going to make it basically impossible to mash out of right now. Yeah, I'm not. You know what's interesting? I've not seen Reflector come out once. No, it doesn't do too much unless Ridley is opting for those fireballs. And you know, with uh, Falco's verticality and ability to pop over, yeah. it's very hard to make those efficient uh, outside of ledge traps. I think this can also. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think. I think with obviously, it's the reflection for a reason. But I also don't think for how quick that option is. I don't think it's n the worst idea for potentially for out. Just trying to keep him back a bit. When lasers aren't working, maybe having a quicker option sometimes it could just push out back and get him knocked down a little bit maybe find something off there? Sure, definitely. I think the it's a weird thing with Reflector as an active attack, because while it's reflecting, activating like almost instantly, yes. the hitbox is actually this quite is bit, yeah. So it's a it's a weird one, because I definitely agree, I think of it the same way, Yeah. where I'm like, you know, if you're like against a link, you can just mash it, yeah. because it's active almost like frame one, I believe. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Um, you can just smack things away. So if it's the buttons, you might get blown up. Yeah. Bubblegum KK still blaring in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fate we choose as commentators to listen to music. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> like, car, oh, probably. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, the up angle left tilt. Oh, nothing is harder to me than an up angle left tilt. And yeah. But yeah, no, it's such a. It, I mean, honestly, this left tilt of, um, of Ridley. Because it was a fight. Whoa. Where did you go? Where did you go? Hey, yeah, they're trying to be. What happened? That was 
Uh, that was a forward wing blitz that got the stage spike, and it looked like a true spike. That was incredible, and once again, that, ang uh, that up angled F tilt doing so much work for Alpha right now. I'm loving to see it, because, I mean, the thing with uh, Van Ramsey right now is Falco has to try and approach from the air. He doesn't really have much option else he can do right now. No, no conversion out of that there either. Really not what you need. That could have been a huge opening, I think. He's and again... Thing you've got to remember about these uh, the ledges on the, these sort of stages is, the, is most of your attacks are just going to bring, just read that Ollie's just going to keep going for up tilt. see, not even just that they read it, they blocked the first one, they dropped shield, turned around and re-shielded. Oh. So they could get the faster, quicker, oh, get the, the, initial, hit. the initial hit, yeah. Yeah, that's a classic Smash 4 oh. anti tech. Alpha like. tries to go for the triple forward air, tries to get hit Ollie with the, the check, but not quite. Does get the, the coveted Falco up tilt back air. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> does it? It really does, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps with the up tilts good. A little bit of pressure by Oli, but he's not getting much out. more off it. it. Needs to be careful Ooh. right now. Does make it back. Tries to get the gentleman that maybe even kill if it's with bad DI on Van Ramsey's side. Aye, possibly, definitely can. Good little man, laser. Needs to be careful, good spacing. Afraid of the wing blitz, but that's, a, that's no invincibility on that recovery, but the cannot find good. these hits around the wing blitz. It's such a huge option, and the Guess space pirate rush not. isn't gonna kill. No, it good, yeah. Reduces its down, reduces knock back the further it travels along the yes. ground as well. Yeah. It's a very complicated move for no discernible <laughs> reason. Yeah. Something I always forget, and I always go, why is this person not dead? Like, oh yeah, I took him all the way across PS2. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, great, yeah. Up at finding another game almost in a row. Alpha is very much having their way with this set right now. Yeah. It feels like there's a, it's not an unfamiliarity in how uh, Van Fantasy is playing it. No. I think it's, maybe it's just been a little while. Yeah, I think a little bit, little bit de-rust. He hasn't played the game for a little while, so I kind of working his way into it. Versus Ridley. I mean, yeah, Ridley's, Ridley's a, is a very, a niche matchup, I guess. Sure. Not, not, not many people play it. We have a couple people here today, luckily. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. I'll tell you. I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't play. I play on software. <laughs> you, play, oh, you play Link. What are you talking about? No. No, I do <laughs> I play Soul. No, I don't but you know, it's been a little while, and they used to play it. You, you, when you used to play a matchup a lot, and then you have a long time of not, it can. You can yeah, kind of get a bit of cognitive dissonance on how comfortable you actually are in a matchup. Yeah, because you're initially thinking, okay, now I, I know this matchup, I'm comfortable in it, and, and I know how to approach it. <laughs> yeah, then you realize, oh, actually, no, there's stuff in this, this matchup I completely forgot about. Especially when you're used to playing versus someone, and then you play against someone the sinker who is vastly better. Uh, yeah, because they just they might have the slightly more, like, little things just slightly more refined. Yes. Like, uh, it's for us great kill confirm. I'll never do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, excellent kill, excellent kill confirm there by, uh, by Alpha. I, I, I actually love Ridley, Ridley up there as just a general option. Oh, I love that recovery. Ooh, well, I love mind. that more beautiful stuff. Hands off. He uh, just, yeah, just... Uh, uh, Alpha hang on that ledge a little bit too long and uh, I'm not fully aware and be like, yep, Falcon down there. This move is far too big for its own good. I actually think they caught uh, a drop jump from ledge. Was it drop? Yeah, oh. well, with Ridley it's such a tempting option because you have such a oh, you can, selection of buttons you for it. You can up air, you can fair. You can air, you can fair. You can yeah. do almost anything. You can literally j jump, double jump away, come on with a back air. But all those lose to death, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, that could have been dangerous, but Alpha is only at 27, so it's not going to Finally, we see a whiff punish on the command grab. It's been so many connections from Alpha. They got a, maybe a little bit lazy in terms of looking for it there. No. Go. Ooh, no, they should be the side? Yeah. Yeah, Nice stuff. Nice recovery. Back throw. Going to throw the fireballs out. Not going to catch yeah, on just Get a laser yet. for your troubles as well. Why not? Yeah. Tries to bait an up smash out of uh, Jab. Alpha. Jab. Not going to fight. The jump was so close to killing there. Careful, good recovery. Tries to go for oh, the. Oh, the doesn't up. get it. It doesn't. Side beat doesn't cross up, but up he still can. <laughs> He's careful right now. Oli is dicing with death. 179%. Anything could rid this kill. Yeah, there's the gentleman again. Finally finds its mark in the blast zone and going to look for something very cheeky. Tries to get Spice Pair a rush. <laughs> We're gonna get the grab combo. It only gets the one forward air off it just at the moment. Nah, not quite gonna get much more of a fun rubber. 
Oli needs to find something immediately. 80% doesn't take much right now. Oh, let, pulls Elf up onto the platform. I actually really think that's unfortunate because they had, I think, pretty much done all their jobs just on getting yep. back. Good. But the up, back. tilt, back air. And just um, like that, this is evened out really, really quickly. Yeah. The um, only concern is that Alpha has very much been winning these neutral exchanges a lot more than that Yes, is. But the main thing to remember is this is Valkyrie gets you in that string and it can be dicey. Very much bold. But that fair covering so much space, but Bandanti finds the hit. Good, late, yeah, late, uh, <gasps> late hit there. Going? Just be careful. No, Dante incredible. Got the yeah. daft coming through, hitting that ledge masterfully done. Incredible stuff from Alpha and taking it 3-0 over Bandanti. Yeah, no, Bandanti was definitely feeling his way into that game. Kind of like you were saying, when you've not played that matchup for a while, you need to be re like refamiliarized with that fit. Definitely was finding stuff in that last game, just couldn't adapt quick oh, enough. Oh, very much so, yeah. it was. They weren't getting hit by the dumb stuff, they were getting hit by the real stuff. Yes. And that's the mark of a fantastic player on Alpha's side. Oh, 100%. They are willing and comfortable to go for the, the less real stuff, to feel out the opponent's level of comfortability.